diamonds in the rough. NFL Draft Diamonds. Time to shine. with NFL Draft Diamonds, and today I have with me Bailey Zappi, who's a quarterback at a Houston Baptist. How's it going, sir? Good. How about you? Hanging in there, bro. Uh, why don't you go ahead, just give me a quick summary of your overall career. Yeah, so I, I began football, or tackle football, when I was five years old. Um, you know, that's when I started playing the quarterback position, and of course, I've continued through my whole life, and to now when I'm 21, still playing, you know, quarterback. It's the only position I played, um, you know, while playing football. Um, Going into high school, uh, I started on varsity my sophomore, junior, senior year. Um, I came out of high school with only one offer, which was here at HBU. Um, You know, then when I got here at HBU, I've been able to start these these last three and a half years, I guess you could say. Um, You know, I'm truly thankful and blessed, you know, have this opportunity to play here at a division one level and I'm um, thankful that Coach Sheely gave me this opportunity. Cool. Hey Bailey, one thing that I got to make sure that we get like out of the way uh, first and foremost is your size. Uh, so why don't you go ahead and lay it on me. What's your current like height and weight status? My height is 6'2 and I weigh 215. Cool. So, I mean, I want to make sure to get that out there because like for the longest time you're uh your team's website had you listed at 180. Like, how long have you been 215 pounds? Is it just this season, or has it been, like, you know, the past couple seasons or what? Um, these past two seasons, I played my first two seasons, uh, like, 205, 210. And then um, last year, my junior year, and this year I was at 215. Gotcha. So they've had that thing wrong, like, since the get-go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it is. That was my high school weight. It is what it is, man. I mean, you, you, you kind of grow into yourself over the years. So yes, I want to make sure to get that out of the way because people like looking at the wrong info. So yeah, um, this guy's small. Yeah, for real. It's like this guy needs to like bulk <laughs> up, you know, give this guy some like hamburgers or something. Yeah, this um, guy needs a protein shake. Yeah, for real. Um, so what kind of a quarterback are you, man? I mean, I, I, I joke a little bit about your size, but I mean, uh, what kind of a quarterback would you define yourself as? I mean, are you a mobile, mobile guy? Are you a gunslinger? Like, I mean, just talk to me about like how you would define yourself. And maybe if there was a guy in the league that you would maybe compare yourself to. Yes, sir. So, I mean, out of the two things that you said, um, you know, gunslinger, being mobile, uh, I like to say that I'm kind of in between. I kind of have both traits. Um, you know, my you know my favorite thing is, of course, to sit in the pocket, you know, be able to pick a defense apart with my arm and, uh, you know, be able to sit there and, you know, um, like I said, be able to, you know, just, you know, get the ball to my playmakers. Um, but, you know, I've also had the ability to, you know, if the pocket collapses or, you know, a free blitzer comes and I have to, you know, get out of the pocket and make a play, also have that ability to be mobile and, you know, if I have to put the ball down and, you know, take the ball and run or be able to, you know, keep my eyes down the field and make a play down the field. And um, with the NFL guys and, you know, looking at everybody, um, I kind of like try to compare myself to, you know, guys like Baker Mayfield, um, you know, who also, you know, has a gunslinger mentality. But, you know, if he has to, he can be mobile. And then, uh, you know, with Patrick Mahomes, of course, um, you know, he's a gunslinger. I mean, by far the best arm that we've ever seen. And, you know, he's able to get out of the pocket and make throws on the field. Great. I mean, obviously, for those that don't already know, they, I mean, you, you do chuck the ball a lot during during a game and throughout your career so far. So, I mean, uh, just going back to last year alone, I mean, you were a Walter Payton semifinalist, uh, you know, for that award, uh, throwing for like 3,800 plus yards and 35 touchdowns. So uh, definitely a great year last year. And then, of course, this year, you were one of the very few FCS teams that did play uh, this fall. You did play a handful of FBS teams. Um, So, yeah, I mean, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of yards every which way. Um, I know you guys really took Texas Tech down to the wire, too. So um, just just a great, uh, great thing that you were able to get on the field this fall. Um, So I did want to talk to you really just about this year as a whole. I mean, just being able to play those few games that you did, 
Um, and really just kind of like the whole coronavirus business and really how that has changed things there at HBU. Um, and maybe just you and your development. Can you just kind of chat a little bit about all that? Yes, sir. So, you know, COVID hit us, I guess, um, in the middle of spring ball. So we weren't able to, you know, finish all of our 15 practices in the spring. Um, we were sent home. So a lot of um, that, a lot of that time that we had from, you know, spring ball to when we came back here in July was kind of on us players uh, to continue to, you know, get in the weight room, continue our conditioning. Um, I did both of that. And um, I try to consistently watch every day, you know, games that we play last year and continue to, like, um, see what, I mis what, my mis what my mistakes were and some things that I, you know, did good at so I can still improve my game going into this year. And then um, – you know, heading in July, when we got back here in July, we had very few opportunities, uh, you know, in the weight room and on the field before we got into season. So um, us team, our my players and our coaches, uh, we really um, made it known that we had to take advantage of every opportunity that we got. And, you know, we did just that. And like you said, we were the only, I think there was only 15, 15 or 16 FCS teams that really played or had a game this fall. So uh, we were really grateful and blessed to even have a game. And even to have four games and three of them be against FBS opponents were was definitely big time. And I couldn't be more proud of these guys and the coaches of what we were able to do this year. Cool. Um, so I know it's kind of silly. You know, you have a lot of guys, evaluators, that one of the biggest things that they'll say when, you know, when you're talking about a small school player is, like, their level of talent that they played, you know, their competition. Uh, there's a lot of guys that I know that are very great athletes that you face regularly. Uh, talk to me maybe about a couple of those guys um, that you face. Who are some of like the more talented players that maybe you face in your career? Yes, sir. So, I mean, playing at the Southern Conference, you play against a bunch of guys, uh, big time guys too. We have a bunch of guys that come from this conference and are either drafted or, you know, of course, picked up in a free agent in the league. And uh, uh, one guy that really comes to mind is P.J. Hall. Um, he was at Sam Houston State, and I believe now he's with the Texans. Um, and watching film and being able, playing against a guy like that is just – it's its awesome. It, it's awesome to, you know, watch him, but it's also kind of scary to play against him because, I mean, yeah, that guy was just a beast. Um, you know, he was at, he was there every play. He was making a tackle every other play. I mean, he was there at every tackle. Um, he, was, he created havoc, you know. Um, people try to, you know, place a – uh, defensive lineman as a pass rusher, a run stopper, and make them out of the out of those one one or the other. And I think I believe um, when I played against him, I truly believe that he was probably the best player, um, pass rusher and run stopper that I've ever seen um, personally. So uh, he's by far the best player that I've watched on film and played against. Great. Um, so yeah, I mean, like you said, I mean, if 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 people don't know, I mean, you are playing some of the best. Uh, talent, you know, a lot of talented players. Um, talk to me maybe about, uh, I don't know, uh, either a game against uh, P.J. Hall or any other uh, game that's really been a memorable moment in your career so far, uh, you know, something that you want to share. Yes, sir. Um, I believe the most memorable game for me and I believe the program as a whole was definitely this, this year against Texas Tech. Um, you know, and as an FCS team and going to get to, going into a Big 12 program and going into their stadium, you know, not many people believe that we were going to be able to do what we did. Um, so to be able to, you know, go in there and only lose by two points um, is, is unreal. And it's, you know, it's rarely seen against an FCS team. And, of course, a Big 12 team, like I said, um, you know, it's, uh, a specific play that really comes to mind is, again, in that Texas Tech game, uh, throwing that long touchdown to Josh Burns to put us in position to go for the two-point conversion and tie the game um, was, was probably the best play that, you know, or the most memorable play that, that comes to mind. Yeah, I mean, that game, you, you put up some mad crazy, like, uh, you know, like Madden-like stats. I mean, 567 yards passing, four touchdowns, really just a, an excellent uh, game for you as an individual. I mean, just this season alone, even though it was only four games, I mean, you were able to throw for over 1,800 yards. Um, so definitely, yeah, crazy gunslinger that a lot of people would be getting um, if they took a chance on a guy like you. Um, 
I do want to give fans just the opportunity a little bit, just to get to know you a, a little bit like off the football field. Um, so let's talk a little bit maybe about you as a student and really anything that you want to share with, uh, with people about like who you are outside of a football player. Yes, sir. Um, I am currently getting my degree in marketing. Um, I'm striving to get my master's here at HBU. Um, outside of football and school, I'm a big time outdoors guy. I love hunting. I love fishing. Um, I've been doing that since I was about four or five years old. So, you know, whenever it's, whenever um, football season's over and hunting season's going on, I'm usually down in South Texas. And then when hunting season's not going on, I'm usually in the Bay fishing. And when I'm not doing that, I'm usually hanging out with friends, hanging out with my family and hanging out with my girlfriend. So, you know, I'm a big time, you know, person guy, people guy, I guess you could say. I love to talk to people. I love to make friends. Um, you know, that's just some things that I love to do. Cool. So um, usually this time in the interview, I give guys the opportunity to just, uh, you know, give a little bit of love to, uh, you know, some people, um, specifically like some coaches and mentors. Let's talk about them first. Uh, tell me about one of those guys that have maybe just instilled upon you, uh, you know, some, some values that still stick with you today. Yeah, one coach that comes to mind is, uh, you know, the coach that I have right now, Coach Kitley. He's my QB coach and offensive coordinator. And, uh, you know, the improvement that I've had over these past couple of years is, you know, in large part, you know, credited to him and what he's been able to teach me uh, from what he has learned, you know, before he came here when he was at Tech. And, you know, to have a coach like him who's been around football all of his life and be able to be mentored by Coach Kingsbury and be able to coach guys like Patrick Mahomes, Davis Webb, you know, as a guy that's been around, you know, everything he's been, he's around, he was around the, you know, the guy that's the greatest or best quarterback in the league right now. So, you know, I'm trying to gain everything I can, all the knowledge from him right now. I'm trying to be a sponge. Um, you know, he's also a guy um, off the field. He's a great guy off the field. Um, he's sorry about that. Um, uh, he's a great guy off the field as well. Um, he's just a guy that I can, uh, go to if I ever need it you know if I need somebody to talk to if I need advice you know he's always there and uh, he's definitely somebody that I look up to and um, you know grateful that he's here to be my coach. Awesome uh, kind of along those same lines I mean you do have a lot of great uh, talent uh, you know on that team uh, talk to me maybe about one of the guys on your team that not everybody knows that uh, that we really need uh, need to know for um, you know just to look at. What's a good teammate that we need to know? Yes, sir. So, I mean, y'all know about uh, Ben Ratzlaff and, you know, Caleb Johnson, two great players. Um, another guy that comes to mind that, you know, these next couple of years that uh, will be getting, you know, NFL NFL attention and, of course, y'all's attention uh, is Jared Stearns. Um, you know, he's another big-time player. He led FCS last year in receptions. Um, you know, he's a big part of our offense, and he's just a, you know, I call him my security blanket, you know, when the going – Going gets tough, and you know I I have to get out of the pocket. The pocket collapses. You know he's the first guy I look for. You know he's always open. He's always following me. Um, you know if I know if I'm ever in trouble and I just put the ball in his vicinity, that he's going to go up and make the play. And you know that gives me a lot of confidence, and you know um, helps me out a lot when I'm in a bind. So you know that's definitely a guy that you know is going to get a lot of attention here coming soon. Great. I mean, yeah, like you like you said. Um, I have personally had the opportunity to interview a couple of your teammates. Um, I think last week I interviewed Caleb Johnson and a while back ago um, I, I interviewed uh, Ben Ratzlaff. So uh, people seeing this video can actually go back and, and uh, check those out uh, whenever they have some time. Um, we are beginning to wrap up this interview, bud. Um, I, I do always give everybody the uh, chance to just answer this, the why question. Uh, why do you play football? Talk to me a bit about that motivation. So go for it. Uh, definitely my family, uh, specifically my mom and dad. Um, you know, the position I am in right now is, you know, a large part due to them. I mean, the sacrifices that they made when I was growing up, um, my dad traveling everywhere around Texas, you know, Louisiana, Oklahoma. We even went to Iowa or Ohio uh, for football camps and college camps. So I mean, the sacrifices that they made to help me get to where I am right now is something that I'm extremely grateful about. And, you know, my large part of what I do is, you know, to make them proud. And hopefully I've been able to do that. And hopefully I can do that as I continue along with my, my career in life. 
Great. And very final thing for you, Bailey, is um, just give me your uh, pitch to a professional team. I mean, why should they, uh, you know, take a chance on a quarterback uh, out of Houston Baptist, man? What would you be bringing as a team? Yes, sir. I'm a big time, big time leader. Um, competitive. I'm a winner. Um, you're gonna, you're bringing in a guy that's gonna come to work every day and give it his all, give his heart out. I'm gonna go 100. Um, percent I'm gonna continue to, you know, improve myself and, you know, help and improve players around me and, you know, try to gain as much knowledge as I can to help the team win. Great. I mean, like you said, I mean, you've actually improved each and every year, like over the past few years there at Houston Baptist. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, sky's the limit, really, like if you continue to improve. So, I mean, you know, certainly a, a, a player that knows how to go out there and, and be that gunslinger, you know, has the ability to, um, you know, to throw the ball maybe 50 plus times a game if need be. And if the pocket does break down, like I know you can move a little bit, which is great. Yes, um, so, um, Bailey, this has been cool. I, I, I do wish you best of luck moving forward. I mean, I know you only had four games that, you know, uh, this fall, but um, and I know a lot of guys are just uh, waiting to see uh, what's next for you. So, I, again, do wish you best of luck. Uh, again, this is Bailey Zappi, quarterback out of Houston Baptist. Definitely check him out. Got a, got a lot of good film. Has put up a lot of crazy stats. Um, thanks again, Bailey. Yes, sir. Thank you.